Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching. And now here's today's top stories. In a recent announcement, Hyundai will unveil its redesigned 2025 Tucson and the new 2025 Santa Cruz at the New York International Auto Show on March 27th with live and digital broadcast. The 2025 Tucson will have a bolder design, enhanced technology, and new features, while the Santa Cruz sports a rugged exterior and updated cabin experience. The reveal event is scheduled for 9.20 a.m. Eastern at the Jacob Javits Convention Center and will be streamed globally on YouTube. Hyundai and Kia are recalling nearly 147,100 vehicles in the U.S. due to a faulty charging unit, according to the National Highway Safety Administration. The recall affects specific models of Hyundai's Ionic and Genesis and Kiwi's EV6, with a total around 99,000 Hyundais and just over 48,000 Kia vehicles involved. The defect found in the integrated charging control unit may halt the charging of the 12-volt battery, potentially leading to a loss of drive power and increased crash risk. Ford has introduced the Ranger Raptor Assault School, an exclusive training program for the 2024 Ranger Raptor owners, set to start in June at the Ford Performance Racing School in Utah, the company reports. The course, included with the vehicle purchase, offers hands-on off-road driving experiences, teaching techniques like rock calling and Baja runs under the guidance of expert instructors. A recent customer report survey reveals a significant preference for independent repair shops over dealerships for car repairs. Independent shops receive top marks for satisfaction and price. The study shows a trend that the newer the car, the more likely its owner will visit a dealership, with 80% of 2023 model year car owners choosing dealerships compared to only 18% of those with cars from 2000. Independent shops stood out for price satisfaction and willingness to negotiate, while dealerships were favored for newer car repairs despite generally lower price ratings. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with Brooke Furness. She's here to share her insights into the impact of Google Analytics 4, along with helpful tips for using the major update correctly. CBT News is expanding its reach like never before and is launching in over 70 million broadcasting households. Whether you have Roku, Apple TV, or a mobile device running on Android or iOS, you can now enjoy our engaging, in-depth interviews with dealers, automakers, trade associations, best-selling authors, motivational speakers, and so much more, whenever and wherever you are. Simply search CBT News in the App Store of your smart TV. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about dealership marketing and how it's changed and really what it is today. Man, that's a, that is a loaded first question. You're like, hey, no softballs. We're just going to dive right into it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's changed a lot. So when GA4 came about, for anyone that's unaware of what GA4 is, there was GA, GA3, which was Universal Analytics. That was around for 10, 15 years, something like that. And then GA4 came about and um, just kind of a cluster. They're really building the plan as they're taking off. But in order to do that, what it can do and what it eventually will do is pretty remarkable. But right now we're still all feeling the pains of it doesn't work. Every time I log in, something changes. I log here. I can't find it. I'm used to UA. It's not this way anymore. And But once it is fully optimized, to be able to see every click, hover, swipe of everything that's going on makes it so you're able to better optimize the performance for your customer, but also for the person in house too to see things. It's just knowing where to click right now and hoping that report works. <laughs> How big of a benefit do you think this will be for dealerships? Huge, because right now you can't go back to UA, to the old uh, Google Analytics. It's got to be GA4. And when I go and look at stores, I would say the majority of stores are not set up correctly. It's no really a fault of their own. They just don't know how to do it. And so having someone in-house to help train there or have someone obviously like my company to go in and help train to say, hey, we can do this. Let's look at this. But if you're trying to figure out where should I spend that money? How do I inspect what I expect? If you don't have GA4 set up properly and looking at it consistently because it changes so quickly, you don't know where your money is being spent. You don't know if it's a lead source or an ad agency or you did some whatever campaign is. In order to truly inspect that, that's got to be set up correctly. And you can watch this full interview right here at cbtnews.com. Well, that wraps up our show for today, but we do invite you right back here tomorrow morning on cbtnews.com. And remember, 
You can stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry by following us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. And now you can find CBT News in over 70 million broadcasting households on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, Android, and iOS devices. Simply search CBT News in the App Store on your smart device to watch our programming wherever, whenever. I'm Shine Malone. Thanks so much for watching. You have a good one. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.